Hello there. This is your roving reporter, Carl Reiner, here at LaGuardia Airport, awaiting the arrival of a plane load of eminent visitors. Among them, the distinguished Viennese authority on archaeology. He knows more about sphinx, pyramids, and excavations than any man in the world today. He has just written a new book on the subject entitled Archaeology Made Simple or Don't Lift Heavy Rocks. And here he comes now, <laughs> Professor Ludwig von Fossil. <laughs> How are you? How are you, Professor? Give me a good handshake. Good one. That's the way I like to feel a good handshake. You know why? Why is that? So happy to see somebody. I've been digging around in the ruins, you know, so long I didn't see anybody. It's nice to see somebody. <laughs> That's enough. Okay. Professor, I enjoyed your book tremendously. Tell me, is it true, as you said in one of your chapters, that by examining old pottery, you can tell a lot about the old civilizations? Oh, of course. This is altogether true. Otherwise, how would we learn? We have to learn from something, something digging up, and that's the way we learn, and that's all, because I can't read, you know? <laughs> you see, you have, to, you have to dig up the certain things, like this, that once we were digging once in Persia. This was a great discovery. That, uh, they, they were digging in Persia, and all of a sudden, we come upon an old something. But a very old something. <laughs> and we... You know, we got it and we washed it off very carefully, you know, very delicately. We brushed it, you know, with the brush. Cuts. And then we recognized what it was. It was, it was an ancient cookie jar. An ancient cookie jar. And you know what we found in the ancient cookie jar? No, Doctor. Ancient cookies. <laughs> yes. Doctor, tell me, in all your travels, what is the most interesting and exciting thing you were unearthed? In Egypt, particularly. Oh! We were in Egypt. We were digging around near the pyramids, you know. And all of a sudden, one fellow was digging and he found a hole, you know. Well, after that, they started to dig all around there, you know, and they unearthed a whole, a whole forgotten city. And the whole city, and around this whole city was a wall, a beautiful, magnificent wall, just beautiful, gorgeous. And all over on the top was this beautiful hieroglyphic, you know, and we couldn't read it, so we got the hieroglyphic reader, Yaha. We said, Yaha, what does that say over there? Well, Yaha said, what does that say? What does it mean? Don't play handball against this ball. <laughs> how, about, how about the fact that archaeology as a science is very closely related to anthropology and how about the fact that anthropology is so akin to uh, comparative sociology? How about the fact that all three of these make to, toward a, a great social and living science? Yeah, how about that? 